Welcome to Wilkes Community College. My name is Ronald Allheit. Today I'm going to show you a different type of graph using the Omega Grafter. With the Omega Grafter, it's a pretty simple operation about using this. A lot of times our students here will use knives. They use different types of tools to graft with. And this is just one of them. This is one of those that pretty much without any type of grafting experience, you sh should still hit high success rates, probably within the 90 percentile. With this tool, what it makes is a dovetail cut. I'm going to end up with this, pointing in this direction. I'm going to go in between two buds, look on both sides, make sure we've lined up, make a cut. And what this does is actually make a little dovetail cut for this with the rootstock. Then I have to match up the sign wood to it with the same diameter. If I get a little too big, a little too small, I can still work with it but I need to be as close as I can to have a better graft. So with this one right here, I'm going to cut in this area. Again, keeping the tools in the same area. Press down a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and count the buds up. One, two, couple of buds. Cut on the angle back. And what's going to happen, I have this type of cut and then this and I'm just going to push them together and pretty much it's going to make a uniform connection junction for it. Now, if I had troubles with it, if it's too small, I can move to one side or the other. I'm still needing the cambium layer. When I do this, I could actually switch it to the other way if that'd give me a better t fit on that. You can see right here, got a little bit of green showing. So on this one, I'm going to put it in this direction. With me today is Tracy Shoemaker. She's going to be holding this as I put the rubber band on it. And with this right here, I can have troubles compared to the knife and certain other types that has a very tight hold to it. This one right here, if you see, it can come loose. If I start wrapping it this way, it will pop loose. So I'm going to turn it this direction. That way, as I start wrapping it, it will kind of hold itself. Again, I need to hold the rubber band as tight as I can. And I start wrapping around. Keep the rubber band as tight as I can on this. Okay, go ahead and release Tracy. I do not want someone to hold the top of this while I'm doing it. If it does, it can end up being pushed to the side and the cambium layer is not touching. And then with this, I can tie the rubber band underneath it. If I'm not able to do that, then I'm just going to tie a knot. And pretty much it's done with that. The Omega Grafter, this right here, cost me approximately depending on where you buy, I'm going to say about 80 to $85. Once I get this done, I have two options. If the rubber band is tight and everything is good, I could bypass this part by putting wax or the tar on it. However, starting out and doing it for trying to get as many takes as I can, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I cannot let any air get to that graft at all or my success rate will go down. So I'll go ahead and paint this pretty good. Again, if I'm using wax, I'll do it that way. And then, of course, I'll have to cover the top up here. I don't want no any moisture coming out. And that's just another way of using some of the different tools. And like I said, this is a good way for somebody starting out, trying to get graft, learning how to graft. This is another option for them. With this right here, this is on an ML7 rootstock. I'm Pretty much on this right here, I'm matching up to diameters. Again, I need to keep my sign wood a couple of inches above the soil level, but if I must be able to graft up here, I would be able to sink the rootstock a little lower for more roots to initiate on it. We're going to go ahead and do another one, and I can show you on this one also. Again, I'm matching up my rootstock and sign wood, so I can start seeing what I'm going to use. This root stock, right, the sign would excuse me, it's been in the refrigerator for approximately probably, it is for us the about middle of April and it's been in the refrigerator about six to eight weeks right now. Even though I have wrapped the bottom, I don't want to use this bottom one or two buds because it may have dried out on me. So I'm going to come up a little bit, not use that part, and then start trying to match up with this. This one right here will be a little high. With this, I'm going to go ahead, I'm above a bud in this direction and then match it up on this go 
go ahead and cut two or three buds out. And place it on. Again, I make a very good connection to it. If I don't like that way, try to work it the other way. Now, on these rubber bands, I had a question earlier about, about the rubber bands. If I'm using wax, especially, because what happens if I put wax over this rubber band, it takes a very, very long time for it to break down. The, putting the tar on it, usually it does break down, but sometimes you can have problems with this not breaking down. So, most of the time I say July the 4th. If the rubber band is not off by July the 4th and the tree is actively growing, I can't have trouble with it girdling the tree. So pretty much if July the 4th, okay, July the 4th comes, rubber band is still on, it's holding real good, then I'm going to end up having to cut it off. I do not want to cut it and peel it off. What I'll need to do is cut the back side of that rubber band, something along in here, or maybe in here. Just All I'm doing is releasing the constriction it may have on it, pop that loose, the rubber band, then the tree is able to grow. Okay, I can set that out, line it out in a nursery bed, and then grow it from there. I can put it in a pot. Like I said, sometimes here at school we actually put them in the greenhouse and it'll kind of force them along, get a little quicker for the buds to emerge. Again, I'm covering it up. If I did it, I probably could bypass this part, but there again, if I'm worried about maybe some air getting to the graft, I will go ahead and put that on just for good measure. Any questions? Any other questions? Thank you.